Okay, let me tell you why I asked Mark to be on the Hymns record, though. And, it, well, one, I love his voice. I do. I love his spirit. I do. I just, the first time Mark and I met two write together, we ended up actually just eating for a long time out and then decided we go write something and we were probably lots so Lots of candy. Full, lots of candy. That's, oh, wait, we, that's also had, we also had food. But yeah. then we had definitely a lot of candy. Could have, uh, yeah, we were just kind of hopped candy. up. But, <laughs> but I just, I love everything about Mark. I feel like he's kind of a long lost friend because we don't really hang out. We've only occasionally. But it but, feels like we've hung out a lot. A lot, yeah. I don't know if that's like a good or bad thing that it feels like we've hung out a ton, but we've only hung out a lot. Because it gets kind of tiresome. It's like, tiresome, I don't really want to see you. I see like you. two really <laughs> intense personalities. <laughs> no. That is true, though. In, but intense and total polar opposites. I'm really high strung. He appears not high strung, but you're, you're not. We're just very. It's I think I'm probably pretty high strung. Yeah, maybe you are. Maybe that is what gets us geared up. Yeah, it's actually not tiring hanging out with you, Andrew. Anyway, so I asked him to be on because, well, one, Regina McCreary was doing the. I just had the, this song, Never Grow Old, I first heard on a Patty Griffin record. Mm -hmm. uh, re come to realize it's from the early uh, 20th century, early 1900s. Old, old song called Never Grow Old. Anyway, I thought Mark just has that kind of vintage vibe. Um, he's an old soul, I think, at heart. I think that's where we connect, maybe. Mm -hmm. We're old souls. And Regina McCrae is, is he, you knew or had heard of through, because Mark is Bob a Dylan. Bob Dylan fan, and a lot of people are, but Mark actually has like this right to be a Bob Dylan fan because <laughs> he's kind of carrying on that vibe. Just don't ruin your voice. Okay. Like he did. He's got such a beautiful voice. Anyway, so. He's got a lot of soul in his in the timbre of his voice, and I just wanted. And he's gonna blow up in a couple years, so I had to get it before. So before that, you blow up, so that, I can say I can like remarket my records. So Mark Sibelius is working. Yeah, that's right. Andrew and I are. I, Andrew and I are actually really good friends because Andrew calls me a lot, <laughs> and I call back. Like really, thirty percent of the time, <laughs> but it doesn't take offense to that. Actually, I really love Andrew, and I would love to be better friends. And <laughs> but but it's you know it's a, well, impossible. It's just the schedules, schedules are just hard worlds. to hard to coordinate. And so the fact that he didn't take offense that I only call him back like he doesn't respect my music three out of ten times. No, it's, I think this record no. is going to be great. He's got a lot of great people working on it. He's working in my great studio uh, with my great friends and my other friends that own the studio as well and, and has just great people playing on it. It's going to be really, it's exciting to be a part of it. 